Hello everyone, this is Mike from Boatshed Brighton. Today we're looking at the exterior of the Mystic 60 from 1989. This is going to be a um, quick walk around to show you as much as possible uh, on this boat. Uh, so we are on the port side aft, um, looking at the, uh, the aft deck and uh, the cradles with life rafts, lots of lockers, and um, probably the main goal of this video is going to be to show you the condition of the um, of the deck and the corking on it, uh, it's a teak deck, um, which, as you can see, and I'll try to show you more of it, is pretty worn. The boat's been left for quite a long time in the same spot on the mooring, so she will need some work. We got some uh, emergency steering. Some extra lockers. Hydraulic system for the uh, for the backstay. Life rafts. Gunnels. All the tackle for the rig. Coach roof with hatches. Hatches looking pretty good. I'm I'm pretty impressed with it. Um, having given the amount of sailing the boat's done and um, and how long she's been left for, um, she's actually looking pretty good. Um, yeah, all the running rigging obviously will most likely need to go, um, as it's it's pretty eaten by time and elements. So now I'm just going to lower the camera so we can have a closer look at the condition of gunnels. Uh, stanchion bases and the the corking and the teak itself. Got those beautiful automated winches. Very nice gadget. Having given the size of the boat, it will make your life much much easier out there. So that's the side deck. We are on the starboard side. Got a traveler for the Genoa. There we go. Very quick look at the uh, deck and the mast base. Got a nice hydraulic kicker and um, all the tackle. For the for the running rigging, reefing, gooseneck, and the inmast furling system, which you will see more details of on the uh, pictures. So we're just moving forward now. Got more hatches. Very nice vents. Closer look at the gunnels. You can see all sorts of little bits missing or worn out. And a pretty big escape hatch. Uh, from the workshop in the forward cabin and I've got a little bit more lockers furling and we are looking at the anchor locker now so that's the spare anchor we've got another one fitted already and um, so that's the anchor locker. I'm just going to close it now so you can see the condition of the, uh, the furling. The fitting of the, um, of the pulpit is looking pretty firm. It feels pretty firm, I'll put it this way. Um, obviously, 
uh, the standing rigging is fairly worn um, so that will need to be thoroughly inspected and now we're looking aft so you got a deck four deck here very nice decent sized coach roof which you will see later on another video how much space you got inside how much volume you you gain inside by this uh, this size coach roof uh, without compromising on the size of the actual deck um, little detail from the rig and again the port side side deck and I'm just going to move back a little bit to show you the um, the spray hood okay and this is the cockpit section it's a very nice very decent sized center cockpit which can accommodate quite a few people in there in one go including that extra space um, under the spray hood which could be probably quite easily used uh, to sleep in there on a nicer sort of um, hot summery weather I'll say um, very nicely arranged um, instruments in the cockpit something I'm personally very impressed with and something I like a lot in this boat and I'll try to point it out for you um, so we've got the uh, the main um, engine instruments on the compass uh, the helm and then we've got um, other instruments um, fitted on both um, sides um, of the cockpit they're absolutely out of the way but at the same time they can be perfectly easily seen uh, from the helm so this is a really really nice setup and all the information we need is right there um, and we also have the auto helm um, on the starboard side I'm just gonna move further inside the cockpit to show you a tiny bit more the deck teak deck in the cockpit and seats are actually in a pretty good shape because they've been covered with uh, cushions I will just uh, let them dry because we've just had a quick shower I'll let them qu um, dry quickly and uh, in a couple of minutes I'm gonna take some nice shots of these uh, uh, of these seats uh, when they dry so you will have comparison um, there we go and um, so that's the companion way and there's more instruments here we've got a chart plotter there's some stereo in there and um, speakers repeaters for the uh, for the radios from the inside so that's pretty much it let's have a very quick look from the companion way that's what it looks like a very nice easy access to the instruments and the engine uh, controls um, on this uh, pedestal and again we're looking at the uh, coach roof uh, from the aft cabin so yeah this is pretty much it this is uh, mystic 60 from 1989 and this is mike from boat Brighton. thank you very much